Hey guys, today we're going to go over triangle congruence notes. So the first one we're going to go over is called side, side, side. We just normally label it as SSS whenever we're talking about it. Um, and what happens is if you have two triangles where all three sides have corresponding sides to the other one. In other words, it has an S all the way around because this side has a tick mark, this side has a tick mark, and this side has a tick mark, and you can put S's all the way around, then it's a side, side, side triangle, which means that AB is congruent to DE, BC is congruent to EF, and AC is congruent to DF. And then as long as all three of those sides are congruent, then that means that the triangles are congruent. Every single time. So um, that's side, side, side. Then we have side angle side, which just says if you have a side, another side, and the angle between. So it reads side angle side. Same thing, and the other one has to be in the exact same process, side angle side. Then you have two congruent triangles. So AB would need to be congruent to DE. Angle B would need to be congruent to angle E. And BC would need to be congruent to, I'm sorry, EF. Then that means that the triangles are congruent themselves. So triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF. Then we have angle side angle. So you have two angles and the side between on one triangle are the same as two angles and the side between on the other triangle. So as long as that's true for both triangles, in other words, these things match then those triangles will be congruent by angle side angle. So we have angle A is congruent to angle D. The side between those angles is AB and DE. And then the other angles, angle B and angle E. And that means that the triangles are congruent. So you have to be able to recognize these things to prove that these triangles are congruent. Then we have hypotenuse leg. Oh, I missed one. Hold on. Angles, angle side. There we go. Angle, angle side is the harder one to recognize, and it's because um, there's not something in between. The two angles are there, and then it goes around to a side. Same thing with this one. The two angles are there, and then it goes around to a side. So you ring it angle, angle side. You could read it side angle angle as well. Um, just know that both of those means angle angle side. So you have two angles. Angle A is congruent to angle D. And angle B is congruent to angle E. And then the side following that. So not a side between, but the side after. And then that means that the two triangles are congruent. And then lastly, we have hypotenuse leg. Whenever that happens, it has to be a right triangle, 100%. And then you have the hypotenuse of two triangles and a leg of that triangle. So BC is congruent to EF. And AB is congruent to DE. And then that means that the triangles are congruent to each other. So these are practices. We're going to state the um, triangle congruence on this one. Um, there are two that are not, and I wish that they would have been put in there. There are two uh, types of triangles that do not prove triangle congruence. Um, one of them No, I guess it should be like this with the right amount of 
arms. So this is angle, angle, angle. These do not prove triangle congruence. So these are ones that don't work if you see them. Angle, angle, angle does not prove triangle congruence. So this is a no-no. And then the other one is side, side, and then the angle after. So side, side, angle does not prove triangle congruence. And if you read it in reverse, we don't use bad words in math. So this one cannot prove triangle congruence. Okay, so in this picture, we have an angle, we have an angle, and then because they share this side, we have a side. So these are congruent by angle, side, angle. On this one, they share this side. You can pretty much always mark a shared side. So because they share that side, it's side, side, side. This one is has an angle and then an angle, and then a side. So the left one is for sure angle, angle, side. Let's make sure the right one is as well. It is, so it's angle, angle, side. It has this one in common. It is a right triangle. So first, always check hypotenuse leg, which in this case, this is the hypotenuse, and then this is a leg. So this is hypotenuse leg. Anytime that you have vertical angles, they will also be congruent. So this one's side, side, angle, angle, side, side. Remember, we do not curse in math, so this one um, does not prove congruence. All right, because we have parallel lines that are cut by a transversal, these are corresponding angles and are also congruent. So that means that we have angle, side, angle on this one, and angle, side, angle on that one, which makes it angle, side, angle. So all I'm doing is writing either an A next to an angle or an S next to a tick mark, um, and that tells me what it's going to be. They share this side, so that's a side, and then an angle and a side. Same thing with the other one, side and angle and side. So side, angle, side. This one has vertical angles which means that they are congruent. So that's angle, angle, side, and angle, angle, side. This one also has vertical angles, but we have a side, a side, and an angle, a side, a side, and an angle. So we can't use that, but let's see if there's another one because this has parallel lines cut by a transversal. So we can prove that these are congruent because they are alternate interior angles, which now we can prove that these two triangles are congruent using angle side angle. And that's because of these, I don't know if you can see them very well, but there are arrows here that say that those lines are parallel. So parallel lines of transversals will not go away. That's the end of your notes.